Hello and welcome to another devlog. I don't have a lot of big changes to share this time, but that's because I'm starting to wrap this project up and bring it to an end. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, and let's get started. While I was trying to test the game, it got really annoying not knowing how many fish I had. So now you can see how many fish you're carrying and how many you can carry total. I also found quite a few things that needed to be fixed. Starting with some animations or the transitions between animations, to be more exact. It was possible to get the character into a state that when you cast your line, the character walks in place, or you could get the character stuck in the state playing the animation when a fish is biting. I also had a problem with units, because when I first set up the depth system, I decided to use meters, but then started using feet for everything else afterwards. In the end, I switched everything over to feet, because that was the easier fix. I only realized this was an issue because I was starting to add in some of the different types of fish, and when I was looking up the depth that you would find these fish at in real life, I found that sometimes it's given in feet and other times it's given in meters. I was entering the depths as feet until I got to some of the deep sea fish and realized that the numbers for the depths were greater than the maximum depth of the ocean. So far I added in somewhere around 40 different types of fish and I tried to balance their values to work well with the upgrades so it wasn't either too easy or too hard to progress through the different tools. The fish that I've added in vary in weight from well under a pound to several hundred pounds, so I had to revisit my scaling mechanic for the silhouettes. Like I mentioned in the last devlog, I tried to just apply the scaling to the X and Z axis and leave the Y axis as a fixed value, and it works okay, so I think I'm going to stick with that. I also had to split the fish into different tiers based on their weight, and then scale each of these tiers differently. If I didn't do this, then the silhouette for most of the fish would look like it's the exact same size, except for the biggest of fish. I also added in the wind effects that you can see go across the screen every once in a while. I watched a video on how to do this with the particle system, and I'll leave a link to it in the description if you'd like to watch it. There's a few minor changes I made to the appearance, like adjusting the lighting a little bit, and I also made these new buttons to show the controls for gamepads. The last problem I had was with the WebGO build. I would get this error at what seemed like random times. I looked online and I found out that you can fix it by changing this one line in the project settings file. By the time you're watching this, the game should be uploaded on itch.io, and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to play it. I'll do my best to fix any issues that make it unplayable, but I don't plan to add anything new. That's all I have for you this time, so if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.